Ordinary Voice Spiritual Ventriloquism. You all listen to me himself. Well, part three. Okay, let me finish this up, folks. I know this has been a long one, but I think it's important to get the right idea here. Okay, it says in Exodus 20 that visiting the transgressions, the iniquities upon, uh, of the fathers upon the children of the third and fourth generation of those that hate me. Okay? And that means to be opposed as an enemy. 8131 Sana and also 7852. In that case, it's both of those things. So, what we have here is I want to go one more place uh, to show you Genesis chapter 50. That's a good one. And we're going to see that again. We're going to see Genesis chapter 50, verse 15. And it says, When Joseph's brothers saw that their father had died, they said, Maybe Joseph will be hostile towards us and pay us back in full for all the evil we showed him. So they charged Joseph, saying, Before his death, your father gave a command, saying, Thus you must say to Joseph, Please forgive, I beg you, the transgression of your brothers and their sin, because they treated you wrongly. Therefore, please forgive the transgression of the servants of the, of the Elohim of your father. Okay? So Joseph's brothers saw that their father had died. They said, Maybe Joseph will be hostile towards us. Okay, again, that's 7852, hostile, Satan, or Satan. So, there you go again. There's another example of word hate. Uh, it's not all just one word in the English like we have. And uh, so I want to get right here to the, to the end of this. And we're going to end this with Malachi 1.3, which I believe that's we're about where we started, somewhere in there. If not, that's where we're going to end it. Malachi 1.3. All right, I'm going to bring this back. Full, full bore. It says here, Was not Esau Jacob's brother? It is the declaration of Adonai, verse 2. Verse 3. Yet I love Jacob, and Esau I hated. Now here's a key word right here. I made his hills a wasteland and gave his inheritance to the jackals of the wilderness. Okay. Now, why... There was the switch. You see, now there is a 8135 operating here, which is Sina. And even though he hated, had malice at this point and at this juncture, because remember what the Edomites had done. The Edomites had opposed uh, their returning home, and Yah did not take that. Uh, Yah did not take that lightly. So we also know that in the days of the Babylonians, that Esau also stood in the brother's gate and became one with those who were uh, attacking Israel, and they should not have done that. So that's where the transition between I preferred Jacob over Esau. I love Jacob. I shunned Esau. I considered Esau unloved in this respect, being that he has made a choice through providence to the point where Yah has, considers him 8131, to hate an enemy as a noun, that he considers Esau 7852, Satam, hold a grudge, to hold hostility toward and oppose. In 8135, the hatred, malice, hated, cruel hatred, hated exceedingly and hatefully. So we see that Esau didn't hate Jacob 
the same way that Esau hated Leah, or even to the degree and into the, what do you say, the both ends of the spectrum of hated that Yahweh had toward Esau. It's important to always do a very thorough study. Otherwise, you're going to start getting off into doctrinal error like John Calvin and all this other horse shit out there that comes right down the pipe uh, from Christianity. Shalom. Have a good day.